sound check. One, two, three. Sound check. One, two, three. Streaming live in a few minutes.
To our online viewers, good morning. Ako nga po pala, si Mr. Dexter Andrew Ocampo Manalo from the College of Education. At ako ang inyo magsisilbing host for this program. This is the virtual orientation for senior high school, undergraduate, and graduate students of PSAU. Traditionally, ginagawa po ang orientation program face-to-face. -face. But because of circumstances that we have right now, ang tangi maibibigay lamang namin ay isang virtual orientation. Alam po ninyo, napakahalaga ng orientation program. Alam naman namin that you are getting information from our announcements or posts through whatever we post online sa ating Facebook page. Pero higit namin kayong matutulungan through this orientation program kung saan ang mga services for students ay aming ipepresent sa inyo. So, before we begin the series of activities for this orientation program, let us have this doxology to be followed by the National Anthem. We pray for blessings. We pray for peace. Comfort for family. Protection while we sleep We pray for healing For prosperity We pray for your mighty hand To ease our suffering And all the while You hear each broken need Yet love is way too to give us lesser things Cause what if your blessings come through raindrops What if your healing comes through tears What if a thousand sleepless nights And what it takes to know your need What if trials of this life Are your mercies in God. We pray for wisdom, your voice to hear. We cry in anger when we can't feel your need. We doubt your goodness, we doubt your love. Mga 
mga kababayan ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Thank you very much for that. Once again, welcome to this virtual orientation program. This was prepared by the Office of Student Affairs and Services, specifically for this purpose. Nagbigyan kayo ng relevant information to help you adjust in your studies in PSAU. Hindi lamang ito ang naging isang programa para tulungan kayo. This is actually just the first of a series of events designed to help you in your studies in PSAU. By the way, we would like to congratulate you for choosing PSAU as your institution. So sa lahat ng ating online viewers, senior high school man yan, college, or graduate students, thank you very much. And ituloy na po natin ang programa to give her welcome remarks. Ito po ang ating Vice President for Academic Affairs. Please welcome Dr. Anita G. David. Thank you, Sir Dexter. Um, we have here our University President, Dr. Honorio M. Soriano Jr. Uh, tingnan niyong mabuti si President, lalo na yung mga bago pa lang na papasok sa PSAU. As mentioned by uh, Sir Dexter, this is uh, this orientation program is organized by the Office of Student Affairs and Services, and the director is Dr. Arnelio Valerio. Uh, also, we have uh, the SSC officers na nakita ko pagpasok ko dito sa PSAU na naglalakad uh, for, for, to organize this one. To the undergraduate students, yung senior high school, yung mga graduate students na dating studyante na and those uh, who decided to choose PSAU na mag-aral sila dito, isang magandang umaga sa ating lahat. I've been hearing a lot of uh, endearing stories about your enrollment at PSAU. Yesterday, ang sabi sa akin, meron daw, uh, there are a lot of you who are being called and you do not know kung yung tumatawag sa inyo ay teacher or, or uh, studyante. But nevertheless, whoever is calling you, it would still be better if you will give due respect kung sino yung tumatawag sa inyo for whatever purpose in PSAU. Yun lang naman ang pakiusap namin sa inyo. Ano man ang classification ninyo as PSAU students, lalo na doon sa mga freshmen, we have to respect one another, especially during this pandemic that we do not see one another. So hopefully next week, you will know your teachers and the, the, the list of the students will be given to your faculty members. You were able to accomplish also the type of modality that is applicable to you for the opening of classes starting October 5. Makinig kayong mabuti sa lahat ng sasabihin sa orientation and also you will start the training and the webinars next week. You have to avail of, uh, of uh, these activities organized by OSAS 
so that you will feel that you will you are PSAU students even in times of uh, this pandemic. We have to help one another. We have to be individually good people so that uh, kahit ano man ang maranasan natin ng dahil sa pandemic na to ay nagkakaisa pa rin tayo bilang isang PSAU family. Uh, rest assured that whatever concerns that uh, you have, we will deal with them with utmost dedication. Ang pakiusap lang namin sa inyo, sana may parents na nandito, kung ano man po yung concern ninyo, you have to direct them to us so that we will solve them within our level. Uh, kabahagi na po kayo ng PSAU family and we are sure na kasama namin kayo sa pagpapaunlad ng Pampanga State Agricultural University. We are so happy that we have more than 500 students for academic year 2020 and 2021. Thank you very much to the organizer of this orientation, Madami Pa. If you would attend all of these, you would feel more that you are a PSAU student. Let us uphold to the, to the vision of the university and let us all be uh, considered assets of the university. Lahat tayo, studente, faculty members, non-teaching personnel, lahat tayo, we're doing this for the government, for the Philippines, and for all of us in Pampanga State Agricultural University. We are so happy to welcome you. Welcome you back, yung sa mga lumang studyante, and welcome to those who are freshmen in the university. Again, isang magandang umaga sa ating lahat, and we are here for you, for all of you. Uh, Pampanga State Agricultural University is your second home because you chose to study in this university. Thank you so much and God bless all of us. Thank you very much for Dr. Anita David, our Vice President for Academic Affairs. So let us emphasize that magtulungan po tayo. Tutulungan kayo ng PSAU, pero tutulungan nyo rin kaming tulungan kayo. At tutulungan nyo rin ang sarili ninyo by keeping yourselves informed, not only through these orientation programs or the webinars that we prepared for you, but also by reading our announcements. I hope that will be clear for everybody. And by the way, Sa mga hindi po pala nakapag-register gamit ang form, please do not forget to comment your name as well as your course sa ating live stream. Let us now continue after that opening remarks from our Vice President for Academic Affairs. This time, let us hear a message from the father of this institution, the President of Pampanga State Agricultural University. Our online viewers, here is Dr. Honorio M. Soriano, Jr. Thank you, uh, Dexter, for uh, the uh, uh, introduction. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, commend uh, and congratulate the Office of uh, Student uh, Services, uh, headed by Dr. Uh, Valerio for uh, <coughs> scheduling this uh, virtual uh, orientation for our new and continuing senior high school uh, students, undergraduate students, and graduate students of our university. The university with a heart for humane development, uh, humanity, agriculture, nature, and entrepreneurship development. Uh, <clears throat> Pampanga State Agricultural uh, University. Uh, second, uh, I would like to uh, inform all our students, particularly our new students who decided to enroll uh, in this uh, university 
that uh, PSAU has been designated as Center of Development in Agriculture, Center of Development in Veterinary Medicine, and Center of Development in Biology by the Commission on Higher Education. Uh, this is a manifestation that here in Pampanga State Agricultural University, we do our business to deliver quality education to all our students. And another recognition by the Commission on Higher Education is that the Pampanga State Agricultural University is now one of the top 20 state universities and colleges in the Philippines out of 111. So we are one of the top 20 state universities and colleges throughout the Philippines. And in Central Luzon, there are only three uh, level four universities out of 13 state universities and colleges in Central Luzon. So I would like to emphasize that uh, because of our uh, quality of education here in this university, we were able to uh, get this recognition and distinction from the Commission on Higher Education and the uh, uh, accrediting agency for chartered colleges and universities in the Philippines. Uh, PSAU is also accredited, institutionally accredited as level two by the accrediting agency for chartered colleges and universities in the Philippines or AACUP. So all of these are uh, uh, the result of our continuing effort, commitment and dedication to deliver desirable quality of education to all our students, undergraduate students, senior high school students and graduate students. And our university is also certified as ISO uh, compliant. So we are ISO compliant, ibig sabihin pang international ang ating university. So hindi po kayo nagkamali na pinili na pumili sa Pampanga State Agricultural University na inyong uh, uh, tatapusin ang inyong pag-aaral. I would like to take note that during these trying times because of the coronavirus pandemic, we have to get our acts together. We need you, we need each other in order to carry out our mission. And this is to make education possible and more meaningful and enjoyable even amidst pandemic. And this is very important because we need to uh, understand each other. We are implementing, we are going to implement the flexible learning management as part of our uh, platform to ensure that teaching learning for our students will be effective and efficient. We cannot do this without your help. In fact, the national government under the leadership of our president, Rodrigo Duterte, uh, enacted a law na ang tawag ay Bayanihan Act. Ang ibig sabihin ng bayanihan, nandoon yung pagtutulungan, nandoon yung pag-uunawaan, 
nandun yung magmamalasakit tayo sa bawat isa. Magmamalasakit tayo sa ating bayan, magmamalasakit tayo sa ating bansa, magpamalasakit tayo sa ating university. This is our university. And to all our students, you are very lucky. You are blessed because our national government is investing a lot of money for your education. Yung ating UNIFAS law, lahat ng tuition fee, miscellaneous fees and other fees, ay babayaran ng gobyerno. So ang tanging gagawin lamang ng ating mga magulang, ang ating mga estudyante, ay makipagtulungan upang uh, ang ating mga estudyante ay mag-aral ng mabuti. Ang isang nakita kong advantage nitong pandemic, ang mga estudyante habang nag-aaral ay hindi na namamasahe pupunta sa university. Right in your houses, as long as you have internet connectivity, you can study. Hindi katulad nung nasa, wala pa tayong pandemic na araw-araw pupunta kayo sa eskwelahan, namamasahe kayo, problema ninyo yung pambayad sa inyong pamasahe. So malaking bagay din ito, ngunit kung hindi natin ito pagtulungan, hindi natin ito gawin na trabaho ng bawat isa, ay hindi tayo magtatagumpay. And I, I also would like to believe that you enrolled in this university because you want to finish your education. And to all our students, I would like to uh, remind you of your three obligations. Number one, study. Number two, study. And number three, study. Wala na kayong ibang gagawin kung hindi mag-aral. Mag-aral at mag-aral. Yun po ang aking pakiusap sa bawat isang estudyante. And we also would like to encourage our parents to help us deliver the uh, teaching learning materials via online, via uh, prints and other modalities para makatulong tayo sa ating mga anak. Alam ninyo, ang education ay siyang uh, magbigay sa atin ng pag-asa. We educate our young people because we want to make our country better than what we have at present. Gusto natin maging maayos ang ating bansa. Ang gobyerno natin ay gumastos malaking halaga para sa education ng kabataan. At uh, huwag ninyo pong sayangin ang opportunity na uh, gawin ninyo yung inyong obligasyon bilang mga estudyante, bilang mga magulang sa ating mga estudyante. Magtulungan po tayo and rest assured that the uh, administration, the faculty, and the entire community of the Pampanga State Agricultural University kasama ang Board of Regents will work together to make this education sa kalagitnaan ng pandemic na effective at efficient. So ang aking panawagan sa bawat isa, kung, kung meron kayong mga suggestions para mas mapabuti natin ang pag-aaral, pagbibigay ng education sa kalagitnaan ng, ng uh, pagsubok na ito, ang pandemic. Huwag kayong mag, uh, uh, tanong sa iba. Directly, our university is open for your comments, for your suggestions. Kung mayroon kayong nakitang kailangan ayusin sa aming mga magulang, sa mga estudyante, ipaalam ninyo sa amin para mas maayos natin itong tinatawag natin na flexible learning modality. Hindi ito perfecto, ngunit pinagsisikapan natin na gawin ito dahil ito ang tanging paraan upang hindi matigil 
ang pag-aaral ng ating mga anak. So sa inyo pong lahat, mga faculty, mga estudyante, mga parents, magtulungan tayo. Ito yung tinatawag na bayanihan. Magmamalasakit tayo sa bawat isa, magunawaan tayo, huwag tayo magsisihan, huwag tayo magbigay ng mga komentaryo na hindi maganda. Kung meron kayong mabuting naisip, ipaalam niyo sa amin para isama natin dito sa ating uh, sistema ng edukasyon sa kalagitnaan ng pandemic. So sa inyo pong lahat, pagtyagaan natin ito, yung orientation na ito, upang malaman ninyo kung ano yung inyong gagawin, ano ang ating gagawin, mga patakaran bilang mga estudyante ng ating binamahal na university. So maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. May God bless us all and thank you for deciding to enroll in our university. Mabuhay po tayong lahat at uh, uulitin ko po, magtulungan tayo sa ispirito ng bayanihan. Thank you very much and God bless. Maraming salamat po, Dr. Honorio M. Soriano Jr. for your message and for the kind reminders. So we will try to make things possible for you online viewers here at PSAU, the university with a heart for humane development. And humane stands for humanity, agriculture, nature, and entrepreneurship. By the way, nakita namin kanina sa inyong comment section, sa mga may concerns pa pala, pwede naman po kayong mag-fill out ng feedback form doon sa aming link ng enrollment status. At maghintay lamang po tayo. Medyo natatagalan ng kaunti, pero kailangan po nating maghintay. Dahil hindi naman po lahat ay instant. Tandaan natin yun. And we would like to remind you as well na after ng ating orientation program, magkakaroon po ng isang evaluation. Ibig sabihin, may ipopost po kami isang link kung saan mag-evaluate kayo ng ginawa nating program ngayon. And to remind you as well, after this, magpo-post po ulit kami ng announcement for a webinar series for next week na dapat ninyong abangan para lalo kayong maging handa sa pasukan ngayong darating na Oktubre. So ngayon, ituloy na po natin ang orientation program. Let us go to the main event. And that is the orientation proper. Sa inyong pag-aaral sa PSAU, may mga key personnel o tao po kayong dapat makilala. And with that, narito po ang isang presentation introducing the university officials and the unit heads of the OSAS as well as the Supreme Student Council na kumakatawan sa inyong mga estudyante. So, let us all know these people and let us watch this audiovisual presentation.
Thank you for that presentation, Office of Student Affairs and Services. Ngayon ay nakilala na natin ang ilan sa mga mahalagang personnel na tutulong sa inyo sa inyong pag-aaral sa PSAU. Ngayon naman po ay dumako naman tayo sa isang mas mahabang bahagi. Ang bahagi ito ay ipepresent ang mga student services. Ito ay aabot ng 45 minutes, kaya hinihingi po namin ang inyong patience. By the way, ingat po tayo sa ating mga comments. May nakita po kami comments na ML-related pakiusap. Iyon e lamang pong related sa ating orientation program ang inyong i-comment. So, heto na po ang ating mga student services. Again, this will be very long, but it will be worth it. The next 45 minutes will be all about the services that you can avail while you are studying in Pampanga State Agricultural University. Good day, everyone. My name is Paulina Soto Martin, University Registrar. The Office of the Registrar is located at the ground floor of the Administration Building. The office is open from Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. I have five office mates. We are in charge of the academic records of the students. Today, I'll be sharing some policies and guidelines of the Registrar's Office lifted from the PSA Student Handbook. The following are the important topics that I'll be discussing. Number one, PSAU is a state university, hence, tuition fee is free. But still, there are forms that students will be using with corresponding payments. There are several kinds of forms, such as certifications, removal, completion, evaluation, and dropping form. Once availed, the student will be charged 50 pesos. Other forms, like transcript of records, it's 75 pesos per page, while the diploma, it's 160 pesos. Number two, let's take a look at the grading system. There are two kinds, the old and the new. For enrollees this school year 2020-2021, professors will use the new, while for the old students with student numbers starting from 2018 downwards, they will still use the old grading system. Number three, Let's discuss Latin Honors. We have three classifications of Latin Honors. First, a candidate for summa cum laude, he, she shall have obtained a weighted average of 1.0 to 1.19. Second, a candidate for magna cum laude, he, she shall have obtained a weighted average of 1.20 to 1.39. Third, a candidate for cum laude, he or she shall have obtained a weighted average of 1.40 to 1.59. In order for a student to become a candidate for Latin honors, he or she shall not have obtained a grade of incomplete, drop, 5, 4, or 3 in any of the academic subjects. Number 4. Let's move on to the removal and completion. A grade of 4 means conditional failure. It may be removed by repetition of the course or examination. This form is accomplished in triplicate, one for the student, one for the professor, and one copy for the registrar's office. A grade of incomplete is given to a student who failed to take the final examination due to certain reasons. This form is also accomplished in triplicate. All grades of incomplete and four shall be removed, completed within one academic year. Otherwise, it will be automatically changed to five. Number five, allow me to discuss a portion of the validation of advanced credits. More often, this is applicable for transfers and second courses. Validation shall be done at a rate of 18 units or equivalent to six subjects a semester from the date of admission to the university. Number six, another important form of the registrar's office is the university clearance. This will be accomplished as soon as you graduated. Without this, you cannot have your credentials. 
This will also be needed for those students who opt to transfer to another school. Number seven, and finally, I have few reminders for all PSIS students, especially the first year college. In transacting business at the registrar's office, please observe the following. Number one, transact business at the window. You may get inside when told to do so. Number two, be patient. Please wait for your turn. Number three, be courteous. Wear a smile. Say good morning, hello, or hi, wherever you are. Number four, be honest. Let's all do good, not bad. Number five, for further information about the policies and guidelines, please refer to the PSA Student Handbook. Thank you, and may God bless us all. Hello, I'm Leslie Valerio Torres, the coordinator of the Graduate Studies, and I'm going to present the general rules and procedures of the Graduate Studies. For the admission policies, the applicant must have the appropriate baccalaureate or master's degree. In case the applicant's degree is not in line with the degree he or she is applying for, he or she will be required to finish at least 18 units of the undergraduate subjects. An applicant whose degree is not in line with the program he or she wants to pursue, but whose work experience for not less than 10 years is consistent with the program may be accepted without finishing the required units Provided, however, that proof of competencies or skills obtained in the line of work is equivalent to the course required for admission to the program. Applicant must have a grade point average of 2.0 and 1.75 or better for a master's degree program and a doctoral program, respectively, and pass the entrance examination. For the admission requirements, we have the following official transcript of records, letters of recommendation from two of the applicant's former professors or supervisors, certificate of honorable dismissal for transferees, certificate of employment or service record, photocopy of marriage contract for married female students, and medical certificate. For provisionary status, an applicant whose general point Average is below what is required may be admitted on a provisionary status provided that he or she has no failing grade in his or her major field. Moreover, he or she will only be allowed to enroll six units on his or her first semester. For the program duration requirement, for master's degree we have five years and for doctoral degree we have seven years. For adding or changing of subjects, this should be done one week after the start of classes and dropping of subjects should be done before the midterm examination using the prescribed form. An officially dropped course gets a grade of 5 at the end of the semester. For the attendance, any student who incurs absences equivalent to 20% of the total number of hours shall be dropped from the course, and time loss by late enrollment shall be considered a time of absence from the class. For the subjects on tutorial basis, a student requesting for tutorial must be on his or her last term to complete academic requirements, and the remaining academic units to be enrolled should not exceed the allowable load per term. For the disqualification to pursue master's or doctoral degree, we have the following. Failure in two subjects. Failure to maintain the required minimum average grade of 2.0 and 1.75 or better. Failure to pass the comprehensive examination for the second time. And failure to pass the thesis dissertation oral examination for the second time. For requests for leave of absence, this can be done when a student cannot attend classes for two consecutive terms, and the shall not exceed one year, and this is included in the program duration requirement. For the comprehensive examination, 
a student may qualify upon the completion of all the academic requirements enrolled during the term. And to pass the examination, the student should get at least a grade of 2.0 in all the subjects. And a student is required to retake the failed subjects provided he or she passed at least 75% of all the subjects. Otherwise, he or she will be required to take the examination in all the subjects. For the thesis dissertation requirements, the student must pass the comprehensive examination and with the approved research title and dissertation advisory committee. Thank you. Services. I present to you the guidelines, procedure, and services offered by the University Library. In line with the new normal in education, the library has adopted the modified policies and safety precautionary measures in terms of management, supervision, library personnel, collection services, physical facilities, and leakages through resource sharing to other libraries. These are the following guidelines and reminders we need to follow when we visit the library premises for the academic year 2020 to 2021. For students, faculty members, non-teaching staff, administrators, and visiting researchers, the library will open at exactly 8 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon in order to have time for its sanitation and disinfection. Visiting researchers who were allowed by the guard on duty to enter the university premises shall present the entry passes to the library personnel in charge at the information desk. Wearing face masks and bringing alcohol or hand sanitizer for personal use is compulsory. Clients who would like to research and study will be accommodated on a first-come, first-served basis subject to the availability of seats and tables. Moreover, you may inform us to reserve or set an appointment to reduce the crowding of clients in the library. Be sure you use alcohol before and after you fill out the record book, available at the entrance door before entering the library. Clients have 20 minutes to browse, select, collect, and check out references at the Circulation and Filipiniana section. If the borrowed book was lost, there must be a replacement of the book or pay the specific amount. As consideration, we will not collect fines to all borrowers who will borrow references during this pandemic crisis. For those students, faculty members, and non-teaching staff who have accumulated fines and have not returned the books before the pandemic occurred, we will send them library notices to their respective colleges through electronic mails. For borrowing services, we have five books for the faculty members, staff, and administrators, while three books for students, one fiction and two non-fictions. Group discussion is strictly prohibited. Students making their thesis or dissertation can only use the references inside the library. Provision of book drop service will be implemented for proper sanitation of return books and shall be quarantined at least five days before shelving. Social distancing there should be observed at all times. There will be limited number of clients in the library. Follow all the signages posted in the library. For our library staff, wearing a face mask is a must before serving and assisting library clients. Use alcohol before and after handling library materials, equipment, and furniture. Practice good hygiene in cleaning the respective area. Regular disinfection will be strictly implemented. Observe social distancing at all times. For our services, we have star books in a box in partnership with the Department of Science and Technology or DOSD, Knowledge Resource Collection, in partnership with the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, and other references available in the library. Library guide and current awareness services in bulletin board. We are ready to serve you with my colleagues 
in the library. Miss Sharon Rolyoda, the college librarian 2. Miss Florida Teron, the college librarian 1. Our library staff, Miss Franz Laxon, Miss Adorashonko, Mr. Adonis Tubig, Miss Gemery Tapnyo, Miss Catherine Kate Ganya, and our housekeeping, Miss Nancy Conanan. Also, we have in charge in the museum services, we have architect Andy Balutan, the junior architect, Rondi Rapanot, and Angelica Merete. We have also online services. You may email us at library at psau.edu.ph, psau.library at gmail.com, or cd alvarado at psau.edu.ph, or you may contact us at 0935-599-4900. For more updates, references, and online resources, like and follow us on our Facebook page, PSAU Library and Museum Services. You may search the PSAU Library Online Public Access Catalog or OPA at 210.4.103.1. For availability of resources, or you may chat the head of the library and museum services, Miss Sayri Alvarado, for queries and information. We are also initiating the creation of the University Library webpage, wherein all the information and current events of the library will be posted at the library webpage. We are ready to serve you. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Hello dear students of PSAU, I am Mr. Valerio, the head of the scholarship unit of our university. The scholarship unit is located at the guidance office of the administration building. You may visit us there for any concern as regards scholarship when face-to-face -face interaction is already allowed, or you may just contact us at our official Facebook page, the PSAU Scholarship Unit. To give you an idea, the university offers scholarships and grants to students excelling academically and to those who are involved in sports, cultural performance, school publication, student leadership, and many more. We also facilitate the application and processing of other scholarships and grants provided by partner government agencies and private institutions. Please feel free to communicate with us for any inquiry. We are very much willing to assist you in any way possible. Thank you, and may all have a wonderful learning at PSAU. Blessed day, everyone, especially to the incoming and continuing student of the university. I am Sir Elmer Taraguas, the head of the student discipline of the university under the Office of the Student Affairs and Services. The Student Affairs and Services Unit ensures that there will be judicious and due process in the implementations of rules and regulations under the Student Manual of the University which governs student conducts and behavior. The Code of Conduct and Discipline. The Code of Conduct on Students' Discipline will be applied if there is complaint to a student by another student, by faculty members, by non-academic staff, and administrators of the university. It is a student responsibility to obey the laws of the land, rules and regulations of the university, and the standard of good society. Every student must know that a faculty member has the authority in keeping order and promoting decorum in class and is empowered to exclude a student for ungentlemanly conduct from his class and reports such case. A student should act accordingly during classroom activities and other affairs of the university. The code of conduct and discipline shall be applied to all bona fide students of the university. For offenses committed within the university jurisdiction, the provision of the code shall be applied whenever relevant. Otherwise, the laws of the land shall be applied. The norms of conduct. You have to consider three things for the norms of conduct. Number one, moral character. Number two, personal discipline. 
and number three, civic conscience and participation. Therefore, it is a must for every student to adhere to respect to God, respect to yourselves, respect to fellow men, and respect to the states. In order, you have a secure state at the university. The grounds for disciplinary action. A student shall be subjected to disciplinary action for any of the offenses or violation with their corresponding sanctions or penalties. They are arranged on the screen from the most common to the more serious offenses with their corresponding sanctions or penalties such as reprimand, suspension, dismissal to a more severe case of expulsion from the university. In addition, showing objectionable films and pictures and or participating in shows, literary and musical programs contrary to the directives of the state that will be mentioned shall be punishable by expulsion from the university. Number one, inciting subversion, insurrection, or rebellion against the state. Number two, undermining the faith and competence of the people in government and or constituted authorities. Number three, glorifying criminals and condoning crimes. Number four, serving no other purpose but satisfying the market for sex and violence. Number five, offending any race or religion. Number six, participation in distribution and keeping in possession of prohibited drugs and narcotics. And number seven, other which are contrary to law. A must for student discipline, proper wearing of identification card or ID. ID shall be required for every student of the university. The cards shall be worn by the student upon entry and whenever they are within the premises of the university. The student shall not be allowed to enter and use any facility and avail of any services without the ID card. Non-compliance to the above mentioned rules, the student will not be allowed to enter the university. Number two, wearing of prescribed school uniform and society and college shirts. All bona fide students of the university are required to wear the prescribed uniform during school days, except for designated wash day or declared or PE uniforms shall be worn only during the prescribed time or period. Prescribed uniform for the other programs shall be required of their student after student pass the qualifying examination for the said program. Student absences. A student who incurs absences of more than 20% of the prescribed number of class or laboratory periods during the school year or term shall fail and earn for the course or subject. Authority to maintain school discipline. Every higher education institution shall maintain discipline inside its campus as well as within the immediate surroundings of the school premises. An institution shall also exercise disciplinary action over students outside its campus and beyond school hours, term or, or year in any instances. Overall students, remember this. Your best defense against these violations are not to commit them. And when time permits, secure your student manuals or handbooks at the Office of Student Affairs and Services. Thank you so much and enjoy your stay at PSA. Alam po ng PSA Security Unit, kami po ay bumabali sa inyo ng isang magandang araw at magandang buhay sa ating lahat. Bilang isang namumuno sa security, nais ko po magbigay ng ilang mga alagang paalala sa seguridad ng bawat isa na naaayon sa IATF Guidelines para sa ating kaligtasan at pagtiwas sa COVID-19. Ang mga sumusunod na alitutunin ay dapat tandaan sa tuwing tayo ay papasok sa ating universidad, ang Pampanga State Agricultural University. Una, kinakailangan po natin magsuot ng face mask o face shield. Dalawa, tunan po tayo sa footbath, thermal scanning at disinfection. Tatlo, mag-fill out po tayo ng health checklist. 
Ikaapat, kung tayo po ay nanggagaling sa labas ng ating probinsyang pampanga, nang mangyari po lamang na magdala ng health clearance galing sa inyong rural health unit. Ikalima, panatagihin po natin ang ating social distancing. Ikaanin, at kung sakaling tayo po ay may kasamang papasok, pinapayuan po na kung sino lang ang may transaksyon ay siya lamang papasok sa mga opisina upang mapanatili po natin ang kaligtasan ng bawat isa. Ito po ay ilan lamang sa ating mga paalala na dapat natin tandaan para sa ating kaligtasan. Kami po ay umaasa sa inyong kooperasyon. Mabuhay po tayong lahat at ang pagpapala ng ating Diyos ay sumating lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po. the university library. The food service unit is in charge of regular monitoring of food safety practices of the food establishments and food concessionaires that cater to the students within the university and the vicinity. The food service unit ensures adequate, safe, and healthy food within the campus and the vicinity. Again, welcome to Banda State and Cultural University. Clinic, the Farmers Medical Center, formerly PSAU Infirmary. It is manned by a licensed physician as the head and two licensed nurses. It has a licensed dentist, a dental assistant, and a utility worker. It is open from Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., and on Saturday at 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. It caters to PSAU students, employees, their dependents, and the outside community. So, how do we take care of you? We do outpatient medical and dental procedures, and the center is equipped with the following features. Nurse station, doctor's consultation room. It has one male and female wards, with four bed capacity each. Both are fully air-conditioned with bathroom. For infectious cases, we have an isolation observation room. We also have a two bed capacity emergency room, a pharmacy, health and wellness center, and a dental room. We have an ambulance made available 24 seven for emergency cases. Though we cannot personally see you because of the pandemic, Please know that the Farmers Medical Center is here for your medical and dental needs. Please protect yourself at all times so you too can better protect others. Together, we heal as one. For any queries, please visit PSAU Infirmary Facebook account. Thank you. Okay, 
magandang araw po sa inyong lahat, lalo na sa ating mga bagong studyante. Ako po si Dr. Wins, ang school dentist ng Pampanga State Agricultural University. Ngayon po ay ipapakita ko sa inyo ang mga detalye na kailangan ninyong malaman tungkol sa dental services ng PSAU. Gusto ko rin po ipaalam sa lahat ng gusto mag-avail ng dental services na kailangan mo nang mag-text or mag-chat sa amin para mabigyan ng appointment bago pumunta ng dental clinic. Ito po ay isa sa mga safety measures na pinapatupad natin labat sa COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya maaari po sana pakisave ang aming official mobile number at pakilike ang PSAU Dental Clinic sa Facebook para sa iba pang mga announcements. Sa ngayon po ay hinihintay na lang namin ang mga kagamitan bago kami magtanggap ng mga face-to-face -face appointments. Kaya uh, ngayon... Um, Ipapaalala ko lang din na ugaliin yung mag-toothbrush or mag-sipilyo dalawa hanggang tatlong beses sa isang araw matapos kumain at kailangan din mag-dental floss ng isang beses sa isang araw upang mapanatiling matibay ang mga ngipin at maiwasan ang sakit. Yun. So hindi ko na rin po patatagalin. Ito na po ang mga detalye tungkol sa PSAU Dental Services.
Okay, maraming salamat po sa panunood. Huwag niyo pong kakalimutan ilike ang aming Facebook page at isave ang aming mobile number. Maraming salamat po. I'm Dennis Ipolito, a member of PSA Rondalia and Indigenous Musical Ensemble, RD Prime. I am a living proof of what Prime can do to a simple student. I thought that music was never part of my life, but Prime helped me to discover my talent and improve my abilities. So what are you waiting for? Join the PSA Rondalia and Indigenous Musical Ensemble, and together we will explore the culture within our hands. Imagine Chorale is a power group of Hong Kong State Agricultural University. We perform during five ceremonies, church masses, and special events or occasions like when important people, like the mayor or senators, come to the university and talk about various things. We also get to perform outside the campus, in or sometimes even outside Magala. We also get the chance to compete with other universities in the cast of event held once a year during the month of November. The university supports us through all of this by providing us our costumes and giving us our allowances which are based on the number of units that we take and our performances as an active member of the group. Overall, it is so much fun being a part of Imagine Corral. We get to form bonds, build friendships with other students from different colleges and we also get to develop our own skills and talents. If you want to learn how to play instruments such as drums and guitar, you also want to learn how to use a baton, be part of PSAU Jam and Lar Corps with or without experience. We are looking for majorettes, lyrics, and percussionists. Majorettes must be slim, mestiza, or morena. If you have the willingness and dedication, you are welcome to be part of our family as we the PDLC continue our legacy. So what are you waiting for? Let us enjoy this once-in-a-lifetime experience of playing musical instruments together. Si Sun Kapatid. ba ang magpatawa? <laughs> oh, di kaya naman ang magpaluha. <laughs> o kaya naman ay maghatid ng kahintik-hintik na emosyon? Hmm, what are you waiting for? This is the guild where you can be anybody, portraying different personalities. Sabi natin, si Canon Luke Kapalan Marine! Kenny na ka, as lagan ka magpangan, theater act kill! The Legrand Hamodelo Dance Group of Pamang State Agricultural University is an organization that can boost confidence of individuals. It has four categories, folk dance, indigenous or indigenous, Contemporary and Hip Hop Representing PSA in regional and national competition Performing in every program or events of our school And receiving invitations to perform in other schools and other places Is a big privilege to all of us the Lagran Hamodelo Dance Group has been performing a lot here in our region and as well as we are competing into various competitions outside the university. So if you want to express your talents in dancing, learn and discover different colorful cultures through folk dances and indigenous dances, if you want to hip and hop and break the dance floor, or if you want to flex your legs and learn different unique techniques when it comes to contemporary dancing, what are you waiting for? We are wholeheartedly welcoming you to the Granja Modelo Dance Room. See you! The Office of Cultural and Performing Arts of PSAU is an organization that brings equally talented students all together. We can similarly promote arts and culture with our talent through regional and national competitions. 
Sergio Mutapor, who made a Filipino student shine globally, but also by being competent and skilled in representing our identity as excellent Filipinos in the world. Thank you, Sergio. 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 Thank you, Serg
ang social media presence nito sa pamamagitan ng paglalabas ng online news and articles, mga larawan, videos, at akdang pampatikan. Isa rin ang sinukungan gazette sa mga nagbibigay karangalan sa Pampanga State Agricultural University sa katunayan sa nakaraang 19th Regional Higher Education Press Conference noong Enero 2020. Nakamit ng sinukungan gazette ang ikalimang pwesto bilang pinakumakusay na publication sa buong Region 3. Ito rin ay consistent na nagwawagi sa Luzon Wide Higher Education Press Conference kahit na ito ay sa individual o group contests. Mahinindigan ang sinukuan gazette na magsisilbing plataforma ng katotohanan, lalo na sa panahon ngayon kung saan marami ang naghahanap ng balita at makabuluhang informasyon. Kung gusto ninyo maging bahagi ng student publication bilang creative o technical writer, visual artist, photo journalist, multimedia artist o kahit ano pa man ang nasa linya, hintayin lamang ang aming anunsyo. Para maging updated naman sa lahat ng impormasyon aming ilalabas, pakilike at follow ang aming official social media accounts. Stay safe everyone! See you online, PSA students. Goodbye. At marami pong salamat sa lahat ng unit ng Office of Student Affairs and Services para sa mga audiovisual presentations na napanood ninyo. Sa ating mga online viewers, alam naman namin na medyo mahirap i-absorb ang lahat ng information. So don't you worry. Ang karamihan sa mga units ng OSAS ay mayroong Facebook page. Halimbawa na lamang ay ang library, ang Supreme Student Council, Sinukuan Gazette, at Infirmary. Kung hindi kayo sigurado kung paano ko kontakin ang mga nasabing opisina para sa inyong mga concern, huwag kayong mahiyang magtanong sa ating inbox o sa ating page. And by the way, we would like to inform everybody and remind them na after this, please po sagutan ninyo ang ating evaluation form at abangan ang ating post para sa webinar series for next week. At dahil natapos na po ang 45 minutes of presentation ng bawat unit, malapit na po ang ating pagtatapos sa ating orientation program. And with that, let us go with the closing remarks. Para sa closing remarks, heto po ang director ng Office of Student Affairs and Services, Dr. Arnelio S. Valerio. To our university president, Dr. Honorio M. Soriani, Jr., our Vice Presidents, Dr. Amita G. David, Dr. Amita C. Campis, Mrs. Mirna B. Lorenzo, and Dr. Lyndon G. Solis, the Deans and Directors, Heads of Offices, Colleagues, Students, Ladies and Gentlemen, a pleasant day to all of you. Thank you so much for the support in this online orientation for new and continuing students of our university. Special thanks to all the contributors of this orientation. Your inputs and relevant information truly prepare our students in facing the new set of learning in the coming semester. To our audience, the PSAU students, thank you for listening and for actively participating. I hope you have taken down notes to remind yourselves on important matters concerning your welfare. May you have a fruitful and meaningful experience at PSAU. Again, thank you so much and may God bless us all. Marami pong salamat, Dr. Arnelio S. Valerio. Sa ating mga online viewers, salamat sa inyong oras ng pagsasama sa amin para sa orientation program na ito. And to appropriately end this virtual affair, let us all listen to this hymn. Alam ko, first time marinig ito ng mga new students natin kung ang Pilipinas ay mayroong pambansang awit, ang PSAU, may PSAU hymn. And to formally wrap up everything, let us all watch this audio-visual presentation of the PSAU hymn.